Hey everybody, I'm so happy to have you guys back on the channel where we talk about everything feminine, including music, media, and news. What's up everybody, I'm back again today with another video on some mess, some tea, some drama, and today we're gonna talk about Roddy Rich and his drama with Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. Now, I don't usually talk about men and their shenanigans, but I did want to talk about this specific topic on my platform because it was just highly interesting to me. I believe it's a turn of events in the music industry, but it does include Selena Gomez, so technically, I'm still on track with my brand, okay? But what's going on is Roddy Rich now has the number one song on Billboard now with The Box. Now, everybody knows the box that song that eh, eh. okay <laughs> i probably shouldn't have tried that but y'all know what song i'm talking about and that's not really sitting too well with justin bieber and selena gomez not that there's any major beef but both justin and selena have acknowledged that they have some stiff competition now with roddy rich so much so that Justin took to his Instagram to repost one of his fan pages instructions on how to get his song Yummy to number one. Apparently, this is Justin's return to music and his team and his fans were anticipating this single to be like his sixth number one or something like that. And right now it's number two because Roddy is in the way. What's up guys? There's a possibility I can go number one on Billboard, but I need your help. You gotta go right now to iTunes and actually purchase the song. Um, uh, there's a possibility I'm not gonna get the number one, but I'm all- Dude, did, did you download my song on iTunes? Yes, I did. Yes, I did because I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Did you purchase it, my? Oh did you bloody purchase it, Dad? Or did you stream it? You're looking for the yes, number one spot. Yes, I'm streaming spot. it all the. Streaming it all the it. time. Yes, all the damn time, all the damn time. But 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 you know we need we need I need you to purchase on our iTunes. I have it purchased. You did both. Yes. You've been crushing yes. it as a fan. Yes. Absolutely yes. crushing it. Yes. You're doing everybody around the world so proud. Yes, because yes. I love you. So Yes, I've you're been the, following. You're, you're the best. I cannot. So this repost gives instructions, very clear instructions to Justin Bieber's fans claiming that if you put his song on a playlist and let it play throughout the night while you're sleeping and don't put it on mute, it will get the song to number one on the billboard. Now, fan bases or more so, should I say, stan bases because that's on a whole other level they really be doing the most sometimes. I've seen fans have streaming parties for their favorite artists, and you know, that's all okay, but I've never seen any fans go this far, this far to instruct people on how to strategically get their faves song to the top. Technically, Justin didn't say this himself, but he did repost it, so many people think that's just as bad as saying it yourself. Roddy's only response to this mess was Stream Yummy by Justin Bieber. So now as of today, Roddy's new album, Please Excuse Me For Being Antisocial, is now the number one album on the Billboard 200. And Selena Gomez, who just released her third album called Rare, has a message for her fans in regards to getting the number one spot. So I just found out that my album is neck to neck with another incredible artist. I told people before that, you know, n it's not about numbers for me, but I would love for the most important album I've ever released to become number one. So um, it, if you don't mind streaming it or uh, listening to it on all the platforms, it would mean the absolute world to me. This is, again, something I I dreamed about for so long. But regardless, I just hope that you guys are enjoying it and that it all, it's something that you all can just enjoy and have. So no worries. Either way, I'm happy. <laughs> I read an article on this topic and from what I see, Selena's team anticipates for her album Rare to reach the number one spot next Saturday on the 25th. Saturdays are when the billboard updates, okay y'all? 
And all Roddy has to say in his response to this is, stream Selena's new album, Rare. So I don't know if he's being petty or just being a good sport, but one thing for sure is that he doesn't seem to be the least bit bothered by Justin or Selena trying to get their fans to stream their music so they can basically take Roddy's spot. So the reason why this is so important to begin with and why I even wanted to talk about it is because both Justin and Selena have huge, huge fan bases. Justin is at 125 million followers on Instagram, while Selena is at 166 million. And at one point, Selena was the most followed person on Instagram, period. These two have been building careers since they were children for more than 10 or 12 years now, maybe even a bit more, because Selena was on Barney. And above all else, they're pop stars. It's not common for a rap song to beat out a pop song by such big artists. And I'm not talking pop rap songs, I'm talking pure rap. And Roddy Rich is fairly new with under 4 million Instagram followers, not as big as a fan base, minimal years in the industry, and he beat out to the point where Justin has to go the extra mile asking his fans to stream his music in their sleep. A pure rap song going up against a pop song by a megastar like Justin or Selena, usually you can hang it up, up until now. Because when you have stars and artists as big as Justin and Selena, their fan bases alone will take their music to the top with them not even having to do much for it. They have been working at this for way longer than Roddy Rich, and here he is, someone who just put out some music, didn't even promote it, and it just happened to go number one. And then not only that, but also the album is at number one. So this just goes to show that this decade is about to be a turn of events for the music industry and I'm here for it. As far as Selena and Justin, I don't feel like Selena did anything wrong. She's speaking to her fans and you're supposed to have some type of connection to your fans to where you can speak intimately to them in that kind of way. But for Justin, that was a little much in my opinion. That was borderline trying to finesse the Billboard streaming game, but it's not like he's the only person to ever try to do it. So let me know what y'all think about this. Drop down in the comment section. I would love to hear your opinions. Like the video because it's good for your edges. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. And that's it for today. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.